Hey there everybody, Jay Barino here. Command & Conquer Remastered has been released. I just wanted to make a short video here to say that I do have it and I do plan on making a series for it. And uh, we can check out some of the features here that are added to the main menu. Now obviously widescreen support, not to mention the, the 4K resolution, all supported. Just seems excellent. It really seems like uh, Petroglyph and, uh, and EA did a great job with this. And then I, I believe Lemon Sky uh, helped with uh, a lot of the visual assets. So I'm really excited to get into this. It seems like they have reviewed all of the failed remasters of late and and really went hard on this one to just give fans what they want and not include a bunch of microtransactions, etc. etc. So that's pretty cool. What I'm really excited about is that there's actually a mission launcher now. So you don't have to remember to save your game at the beginning of every single map. And this is just such a seemingly minor quality of life thing, but actually makes like a huge difference at the end of the day. So it looks like all of the covert operations are actually already unlocked. Well, maybe not because these are listed as GDI 22 and 23. So these might be like extra missions. I'm not sure. Console missions and then custom missions. So they've made the entire game open source now. So I think that there's huge, huge hope for the modding scene. I think people are doing some really crazy stuff over the, the coming months and years. I'm really excited to check that out. And again, I'm, I'm really excited for just the fact that there's a mission select that makes things so much easier. So I assume like when you get a choice of which place to go to, if you don't like your choice, then you can just go back to the mission launcher and choose the opposite choice. But we'll see. There's a little difficulty slider here. That's very nice. You get medals now for each mission. So it's like they, they took a lot of the stuff from like Command & Conquer 3, for example, just like the menuing, and uh, and added it here. Uh, replay Observer's pretty nice. So there's a replay saves, and then you can view them yourselves. And let's check the bonus gallery, which uh, none of this is going to be unlocked. But uh, very, very cool. I guess uh, welcome back, Commander. Welcome to the Electronic Video Agent Installation. I see the resolutions in the bottom right ticking up. <laughs> Welcome to the electronic video agent installation. And now it's like super clear and crisp. Clever. Sound blaster. <laughs> Left, right, center. This is like the old DOS setups, but it's just Sound a little video. Initialized. This program will upgrade Command and Conquer to high definition video, audio, and graphics. Upgrading. Please stand by. For last minute changes and notes, please examine the README file. Upgrade complete. Welcome back, Commander. <laughs> that was clever. Again, it, it reminds me of like the old DOS game setups where you had to like set up Sound Blaster and all that stuff and you did the sound tests. But that was just a video that doesn't actually uh Yeah, see so yeah, the original DOS installer. That's 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 clever. Anyway, uh, again, this is just a short video just to show you again what the, the menu looks like so that everyone can see, you know, what they said they would deliver on is here. 
And uh, again, I think the modding scene is going to be incredible. And uh, eventually, pretty soon, probably within the next week, I'll be starting a, a playthrough of Command & Conquer Remastered, and then we'll go ahead and play Red Alert Remastered as well. And uh, we'll probably string some of the videos together, especially the early ones, because the missions are just so fast. But I'm looking forward to it, and again, just want to let you know that uh, this is something you can expect to see in the future on my channel. I'm a relative newcomer to Command & Conquer, but I've really enjoyed my time with the games that I've been playing lately. I've played all the other Command & Conquer titles except CNC 4, which many disavow anyway. But yeah, this is pretty good timing, I suppose, as we're just finishing up Yuri's Revenge as well. All right, thanks everyone for watching, and I'll see you in the actual series. See ya!